Hey everybody, it's the shape back to another video and before December ended I wanted to get at least one more video out for you guys and hopefully I hopefully I got this video out. Uh now I wanted to address I, a question that I've gotten a lot over the years is well what do you you know do you believe anything is real when it comes to paranormal? Uh do you know of any clips? Uh that might be possibly real. I've seen a few, but I, I got a special video coming because what I wanted to do was not look at a ghost hunter for real paranormal, but I wanted to look at somebody that wasn't ghost hunting. And then if you find paranormal in that, it makes it probably even more legitimate being as they wasn't there to ghost hunt. Survivor man. That's all I'll say. It's going to be an awesome video. But this one's going to be awesome. Because we're doing Mind Seed TV. Let's get into this bad boy. And shout out to Summer and Ricky. I hope you get well soon. Uh, hope you guys are out of the hospital. Update us in the comments. And much love. See, Mind Seed TV said, why go to a haunted location? Why, why jump on a waiting list and pay all that money when we go to any Airbnb, being as we fake all the paranormal anyway, the ghosts are guaranteed to be there. That's a really smart business plan. But it's really dumb when there's people like me on here up right now after this intro so what do you say you ready colt now right out of the gate they open with a really really you know holiday spirited creepy little intro you know uh his buddies in wrapped up in christmas lights like an electric chair and he plugs it up you know and normally I'd give them credit, except obviously I'm a horror movie fan. You know, like Silent Night, the remake. Remember the guy in the basement that was uh, wrapped up in uh, Christmas lights and electrocuted? Where you got that from? You know, because I don't think you guys are capable of coming up with anything original. Warning, this crap may be disturbing to some viewers. And fake. <laughs> So we heard a lot of stories about this place, about how there was people trying to do renovation work here. Even the workers that would come to this home would hear weird sounds, see shadow figures move. Yep, man, let me guess. The workers quit in mid-renovation too, right? That's like, yeah, we, we can't handle this, we're out of here. How many times have we heard that story? That, that, that exact story. Silent night. Alright. What did you just, did you just get something? Boy, the spirits are starting quick tonight, baby. They opened the door and I counted like two Mississippis and you already get an EVP. That's kind of common. Dude, look at this. Now, is it just me, or does every Mind Seed TV video have the exact same house layout? When we first arrived, what I noticed was old pictures everywhere in the house. When I arrived, I noticed pictures on the wall, and I noticed a staircase that was directly in front of me. I noticed doorways, and I noticed it had a roof. And I noticed it had an end table and a carpet. It also had banisters. The obelis blurted out stairs and arrived, which was kind of strange. But we decided to go and investigate and see maybe there was something upstairs. Yes, the device that has built in words for ghost hunters said a couple of random words that has to do with ghost hunting. That's so weird how that works. 
even though it has a database completely programmed around paranormal that every word's going to fit in some way or another. But we don't look at it like that. See, what we say is the ghost energy goes into the device and makes it spit out words. And you hear like, that's what they say. It said, that's how it works. Even though we don't know what ghost energy is even made of, you know, but this invisible ghost energy causes all these devices to do this. They just don't know how. It goes into the device. That's it. Smell that? Yeah, I smell that too. You know, what's what's crazy about it, it didn't smell that way until you guys showed up. I smell she. We're not here to harm you in any way. We're not here to make things... What was that? Something from over here. But all these doors are closed, except for that one. Sound like it came from in here, right? It came from definitely down this hallway somewhere. I don't know exactly where. It's... Not even. Whoa. Now comment below what you guys see, but I don't. They're po that thing's supposed to be falling as they're walking down that corridor. Both of them put their camera on it as they hear it, and you get both camera angles. I hear it, but I don't see it moving. It's almost as if they added the sound effect. But comment below what you think. Right, let's look at it again. Comment below what you think. But to me, it looks like they just added the sound effect of something falling, yet the object's already in the floor and ain't moving. All of a sudden, I heard this glass just like, it sounded like something slid off a table. And when I looked in the room to my left, I could literally see the end of this teacup and saucer just falling to the floor. But one good thing about it, uh, they got both camera angles this time. And the reason I say that, because a lot of times when they catch the paranormal, which we'll see on in the video, they don't have both camera angles of it happening. They'll have one camera angle, but they won't have both. And I've seen it mul multiple times in multiple videos. I addressed it in the last video I done on them. Why are they missing one of the camera angles of the most important piece of evidence when both cameras are rolling? Because one of them is causing the paranormal. You see what I'm saying? So they're not holding the camera. And then they cut it together to make it look like, oh, he's behind me, you can see his camera. It, it, it's ridiculous. Completely on its own. You sound like a camera from in here, right? It came from definitely down this hallway somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Not even. We'll run in the room. Go in there. Make sure no person's in there. China. There's like a plate on the floor. What the f***? Well, you guys are supposed to be the peak of paranormal investigating. Now, tell us, you know, your, your dumb audience. But make sure you dumb it down enough. Don't use no big words. And try to tell us what just happened. Yeah, I know uh, something failed, but give us the scientific part of it. But like I said, small words. I think it just f fell, bro. Well, there's your uh, scientific analysis, ladies and gentlemen, of what just happened. I think it just effing fell, bro. This thing didn't turn on or anything. It's not like this started moving. But You know, not one person would have claimed that that would have caused that anyway. Thank you for bringing up a point not one person would have ever asked. Leave the debunking to the big dogs. Because you guys don't know what the hell you're talking about either way. Now, keep an eye on this next piece of paranormal evidence that could easily be done with the string. They got both cameras on this too. Which leads me to believe... 
there's a third man or a woman there. And I'll make a point about that later too. But there's, look, there's two, there's two right here. What? Did you get that whole thing on camera? Dude, I got, all I can see through night vision was it was dark and then it was white. Casey and I's attention was completely drawn towards this tea saucer. Yeah, Casey's attention was on the saucer, you know, where the paranormal just happened there, buddy. Yeah, that's why he's looking at it. You know, you just caught the holy grail of ghost hunting. But not you. You had this feeling like, oh, no, something, there's something more to it. Luckily, though, both of you must have felt that, you know, because you both, you know, caught that door moving. Like I said, the holy grail of ghost hunting, and you guys caught it twice in one room, seconds apart. And this is the more tame of the evidence that they're about to get. That's crazy. Also, I noticed a cut, and let me show you. As he turns the camera toward the door that closes, watch this. Do you see that? There's a cut there. Should not be there. Hmm, somebody faking. You get nothing from neither camera angle. You see, you can't see anything. I got the end of that just now. Hey, Casey, that's a great idea. Just stand there, you know. Don't make no attempt to go open the door to show that nobody's in there. No, no, no. Just stand there looking at the door and talk. You know, that serves you well, you know, being as you have no static cam set up yet. Hello? What the f*** is going on? Hello? Linger. Yes, even the ghosts are saying linger. Even the ghosts are saying that's what you guys do. You sit there and you linger instead of, you know, investigating. You buffoons. Now, being as there's no static cans in the room, they could have went right out that door. Like, right out that door in one big circle, and you would have never knew they closed that door by themselves. Dude, I'm literally sweating. It's like storage. Bro, how the f*** did that door just close like that? I don't know. It's an old-ass house, but what are the f***ing chances? <laughs> Boy, man, you're bad. You're, you're, you're dumb as a bag of hammers. I, I kid you not. Now, I know this old house, but I don't think it's going to make the door completely slam like that. As if anybody would speculate that that would happen. Oh, oh uneven, you know, uneven construction. The door is off kilter a little bit. No, that happened to on cue. And it happened with fish and line, and that's what happened. In the past few years, it's become increasingly more common that we hear some sort of vocalization. Sometimes it's like a yell or a hum, but this time, Casey thought he heard laughter. Oh, really? <sighs> laughter instead of the... Yeah, okay. My question would be, though, who cares? Name one person that would care. Why does that matter? Why are you bringing it up? That's where we heard the first noise at. Was that it? I think so. As they go in this room, they realize, man, this house truly is a mess. Oh, these ghosts, even, they, they had to be hoarders. Yuck. I Dude, think we've been in a million places. And usually the stuff that we communicate with, they love clutter. They do. This has to be. Hey, spirits love clutter. I mean, they're regular hoarders. They are. What was it that we heard, though? That was it. Is that it? That's exactly what it was. You're right. That, that's what made the noise. You know, it's amazing how you walked straight to it as you were mentioning it. That was a lucky guess, being as, as you said, the room's cluttered. Dude, I think we should sit up here in the dark for a few minutes and just see if something else happens. I think so. This let's, was going ape shit and then it stopped. And then it goes ape shit again and it stops. Let's do this. Let's do static camera in that room. 
Yes, let's bring out static cameras. Now, you know, the very thing that would have busted whatever it was that closed that door. Yeah, let's let's use static cams now that that's over with. Yes, good idea there. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do what you think I'm going to do. Not going to do it. I, I'm better than that. It's going to be a new year. It's going to be a new me. So we immediately went and we got static cameras. We set them up in the rooms, all the rooms upstairs, and we did a yes, no prison. Holy night. They finally get their static cameras up and operational, which they, that should have been the very first thing they would have done, you know, but hey, who am I to criticize, right? Huh? <laughs> then they start hearing strange disembodied Christmas music, and that's easily fake. Paula, 60, wife, murder. Before his music. Yes, I can hear the bass of whatever old-fashioned Christmas music that is. Now, what I, what I wanted to point out, though, was when they switch cameras, that music sound doesn't change. Listen. So in a sense, the music is overlaid, not like as far as it's not happening in the house, but the, man the music is manipulated because they take one sound fall to give it a better sound, like a more even sound. I know what they're doing, but the problem is when you do that, you're manipulating something that should not be manipulated if you call yourself a paranormal investigator. You hear the music. All of a sudden we hear what sounds like a plastic cup fall from the room beside us. Oh. Shh, shh. What the f is going on right now? What is that? I don't want to move. You don't want to move, huh? <laughs> You're a great paranormal investigator. Procrastinator. Lingerer. Yeah, I, don't do your job, you know. Yeah, don't run in there, you know, and attempt to do anything. You know, just just stand there, you know. Out of all the things that you guys supposedly been through, you just, you don't want to investigate. So, go home. What are you doing there? Was to. There's a cup. Yeah, there's one right there on the floor. As we go to look, there was a plastic cup in the room on the floor, but we didn't have any access to the static camera because we leave it running the whole night. Casey, shut your big fat fibbing mouth up. Send me the audio fall of that camera angle the whole night. Untouched. Send me the audio fall. Let me watch it all the way through. What? Yeah. Look. What the? No, I... Was this up here? I... It most certainly was up there. You remember this camera angle? Looky there. Fantastic. Boy, I can't wait to see the paranormal footage. I bet, I bet, it's, uh, I bet it looks realistic. I quit. Well, let's take a close look at this very impressive poltergeist activity. Watch very closely. Wow, right dead center of the camera. Thank goodness it happened right dead center of the camera. Do I know with 100% certainty that this is staged? No, but come on now. Oh, what was that noise? This just died. Static no camera way. just died. And I heard this making noise too.
gonna gut you like a fish. I'm in the house. Fairly convenient for that static camera, uh, you know, to die, being as it would have had some uh, damning visuals on it. Yeah, I can't see a thing. I can use my camera. Yeah, but it's not on. So he walks over to the record player and says, well, it's not on. You know, it's not like somebody can turn it on and off at will, you know? I did find something pretty peculiar. And that's the fact when he walks up to the record player, like I'm about to show you, the needle is still on the record. I'm just saying it's not spinning. He reaches and pulls the needle off. It's not spinning because it's turned off. Now, unfortunately, uh, I went back and watched the earlier parts of the video to see if I could see the record player to see if the needle was on the record or not. But there's, here's the only piece of footage that has it, but there's not enough detail to tell if the needle was on it or not. Unfortunately, this is the best look I could get earlier in the video of the record player, and there's no way to see where the needle is. They have record player, records all around the house. They have a saxophone hung up on the wall. Well, what it about- It sounds like whoever is communicating with us either was a musician yeah. or had an affinity for musicians. You know, I love how these guys don't give their audience any intelligence whatsoever. It's like, it's like a movie. It's like a movie spitting out all the exposition through characters talking instead of showing you little subtle things and details. No, they got to smack you right across the face with it. Like, uh, it, 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 this ghost is either was magicians or was a magician. What, does it, what else does that leave? Exactly. All is calm. All right. Let's do it. That was me. All right, let's spin it, man. Now, prepare to have your mind blown. If that was you upstairs, can you please use the planchet? Whoa, whoa, dude. What the f no. is happening right now? Hey, hey, hey. What the f is happening? Dude, go dude, to the right. Bro. Yeah. You know what? I, I remember back when I said that they'll have to keep out doing themselves every year to put a better video out than the last. And the only way you can do that is when the, for the paranormal to up itself. Like that particular case. To me, this doesn't look like a poltergeist making the planchette move. It looks like two hypocrites moving it. Colton and I have done countless Ouija board sessions over the years and we felt all types of different movements. We felt slow movements before. Had you not had that camera in that exact spot with that exact lighting, you would not have been able to tell what it spelled. Luckily for you, you did. Not welcome. What the fuck was that? And click, click, click. My flashlight worked fine. Now all of a sudden it was dead. So yes, he makes the excuse like his flashlight's dead, but all this paranormal is happening, so he don't want to waste time running all the way out to the vehicle to get another flashlight. No, this is a Christmas video. So, let's give myself an excuse to use a candle. I didn't want to go to the truck and grab another flashlight or grab new batteries because everything was happening so quick. Their video is Christmas themed. That's why they need an excuse to use this candle. All is bright. Why didn't we see this before? Because it wasn't open before. I didn't even know there was a cellar here. Casey gingerly opens the door and I'm right behind him with the night vision camera and we just slowly creep into the downstairs basement. Casey has nothing but a candle. Whoa, Casey has nothing but a candle. 
even though it's literally took you guys five minutes just to get to the door you could have easily ran out there and got a flashlight hello oh it's ice cold too dude it is absolutely cold yeah let me see dude i'm shaking right now look at that phone screen and comment i don't even know that bro i don't even know what the f that just spelled it was moving so fast i couldn't keep up with it i didn't know what that ouija board spelled well it's a good thing you had a camera directly on it so you can go back and review it you know being as a ghost made both of your guys arms hands and arms move there's no way that you guys rehearsed that and just you know spelled it yourselves no it was a ghost What? Something just blew the fucking candle out. I can't see anything, dude. As I'm turning a corner into this black nothingness, I can't even see through this doorway. Something literally blows the candle out right in front of me. And now I can't see a fucking thing. I'm behind Casey and I literally see all lights go out except for what I'm seeing through my viewfinder. It was pitch black down there. Oh really, is that what happened? The camera got uh, camera. <laughs> the candle got blew, blown out. Uh, Casey's in front of you. On his camera, you see it get blown out. But your camera angle doesn't show it getting blown out. It just shows him turn around with it already blown out. Where's the, your camera angle of it getting blown out? You don't have it because you were the one that blew it out. I'm literally standing there with him in the dark, like between wanting to show him what's going on on camera, and I end up stepping on a nail straight through my We were both freaking out. Injuries are happening. We decided, okay, enough's enough. Dude, let's get up out of here. Yeah, yeah, I can't see. I, I can't do the, I can't do the fucking. Wait, I'm right behind you. I can't do the fucking. So I'm guiding both of us with my night vision camera. There is absolutely no source of light that we had. Casey was filming on his, so he couldn't use his flashlight. So I go to motion us up the stairs, and I shit you not, I see the most terrifying thing that anyone can imagine. What the fuck was that? Here's what I do know. It's not a spirit. Because whatever this is, you can't see through it. And I don't care what anybody says about, well, spirits can be solid. No, they can't. And you can't convince me otherwise. If I can't see through it, it's not a spirit. Let's be real. Either this is a person or a spirit. Now, when you look at it, though, to me, it, it looks like a solid human being. It does not look like Something that you could see through. Something made up of energy. You see, right there. That very well could be a dude dressed as a woman, to be honest. I mean, is it creepy? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. It'd make it, you know, a good creepy scene in a movie. But that is a solid woman. Or could be a man dressed up as a woman. I don't know. But what I do know is, it's solid. Whatever that is, it's alive. It has a pulse, people. Now, I wanted to get this video, this extra video out for you guys. Uh, just to show my appreciation. This year coming, new, like I said, new year, new me, and I'm going to try to do my best to put out one and a half times the content that I did this year. I'm going to try. I'll definitely get the same amount. And maybe a little more. But these videos take time and you guys are worth it. I just don't want to put a video out and waste your time because time is a luxury that, you know, if you're going to take somebody's 30 minutes, make it worth it. Oh, the hidden word is wrench. That being said, you'll love this other video I've got coming out. Survivor Man, and that's all I'm going to tell you. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Y'all come back now. You're here. Peace.